Yeah, I mean, you're already into history, so I don't need to convince you. Um, maybe you're in denial, like my daughter. She, she doesn't realize it. Um, but like, whatever you're interested in, you've learned about it, like in the past, like or about it related to the past. And so, um, like, if you're really into video games, I mean, if you talk about the history of the GTA series, like that's <laughs> like, what do you think about this GTA versus this one? You're talking history. So I think they just need to realize that, you know, we're always talking about history it's the story of us. It's the story of all of us. Um, something that I found that got my uh, my wife into history because she always like hated history classes growing up is uh, genealogy. Um, like she was learning about her ancestors, so that's usually a good gateway. Do you guys find that as well? <laughs> like if you have this research, like uh, your ancestors. Oh, and well, you should try it. It's pretty cool. What I found you... out I was related. Like that's how my wife found out she was related to. Uh, P.T. Barnum. So, uh, you know, the greatest showman. Hello. A lot of times they their first exposure to history is in at school, you know, and reading a textbook. I mean, no offense to history teachers, but it's it's really hard. Like it's hard sometimes to make some of the stuff engaging um, stuff that's in a textbook, you know, or you're just like lecturing. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's if you I mean. There are so many people that have, that have comment on my underneath my videos or email me or tell me in person. I hated history as a kid, but now I love it. So eventually, people kind of figure it out. Like, oh, it's not just what you know, what I learned in this textbook at school, beginning in elementary school. You know. 